Hey guys, I have an eyeshadow palette review for you today that I'm so, so excited about. Alter Ego has released the Coastal Palette and it's pretty much a spot on dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. So I am wearing both of these on my eyes today. I'm not gonna tell you which one just yet. So you can take a guess down in the comments and see which one you think is which. And I was just so excited that Alter Ego decided to do this palette because Rose Quartz is one of my most requested dupes. And I felt like it's the hardest palette to dupe because there are so many Many different textures in here. You have some cream shadows and you have some duochromes and that like weird jelly shade that looks like a petri dish. There's just so much going on and really I don't have anything else in my collection that looks exactly like this. So I was just so happy to see Alter Ego pick Rose Quartz because like I said it's just been a bit of a struggle trying to find dupes for it. I can usually find dupes for most palettes these days because there's only so many color stories out there but Rose Quartz is kind of more special and unique. So let's Let's take a quick look at the palette and then we'll do a demo and I'm gonna be comparing the Coastal palette to the Rose Quartz so you can really see how they perform on the eyes side by side. And I'm also gonna be doing a wear test at the end of this video. So we'll find out if the Alter Ego one is as long lasting as the Huda palette. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, so let's take a look at the Coastal palette a little bit closer. I absolutely adore the packaging. It's like a beach either at sunrise or sunset. It's so beautiful. I'm such a sucker for anything that is beachy or ocean themed. It's just my happy place. And I feel like the colors on the outside of the palette really reflect what's inside. You have these gorgeous pastel shades mixed with some warmer neutrals, some gold and bronze. You also have a few beautiful duochrome shades in here. So it's just a really interesting color story. And it's really versatile as well because you can create more pastel looks with this. You can just create a neutral look if you want to, or you can use those duochromes and really make things pop a little bit more. So I really enjoy the versatility of this palette because you're gonna be able to get so many different looks out of it and not just the same one or two. So I really love that. Also the formula feels incredible. The matte shades have this super soft feel that's almost like velvet. They just glide across the skin so easily in a swatch. And they also don't seem to be very powdery or have a lot of kick up. And then the shimmer shades have a bunch of different textures going on. Some of them are creams. Some of them are more metallic. There are a couple of toppers in here as well. And then you also have that jelly shade that really just looks like a clear topper with a little hint of iridescence to it. So overall, just a beautiful color story that reminds me so much of Rose Quartz. So let's take a look at these two together. Outer packaging wise, the Huda comes in a hard plastic palette and it has the beautiful pink quartz pattern on it. Then the Alter Ego is a cardboard palette with a magnetic closure and the beautiful beach scene on it. Then when you open these up, all the shades pretty much look exactly the same. The Alter Ego ones are arranged in a different order, which is something that they always normally do. They don't put them in the same order to make it look identical. And because these are 18 shade palettes, palettes, my arm really wasn't long enough to compare them both side by side. So I broke it up into matte shades and shimmer shades. So let's take a look at the shimmer shades first. So here we have the Huda shadows along the top row and then the Alter Ego on the bottom. And I really don't see a lot of difference. I think a lot of the shadows look almost identical with just very slight variations. I don't feel like you're really going to notice it that much once they're on your eyes. And then when it comes to the matte shades, I feel like these are even more identical. They really did an amazing job. And once one thing also to note with the mattes is if you look at the Alter Ego swatches along the bottom, I just felt like they gripped my skin a little bit better and the swatches stayed very consistent while the Huda swatches were a little bit more on the powdery side and they spread out a little bit more. So they just didn't hold together quite as well as the Alter Ego, but I still think that the Huda ones are super smooth. They're honestly some of my absolute favorite shadows. I love Huda's formula for how smooth it is and I do think the Alter Ego one is just as smooth if not even more. So we'll definitely have to see how they apply to the eyes. So I don't think I mentioned price. The Alter Ego palette is $20 and the Rose Quartz palette is $69. So you're saving quite a bit with the Alter Ego. Now I know their palettes used to be around $15, $16. So it has gone up a few bucks, but I feel like the Huda Beauty palettes have too. I don't think they were always $69. I wanna say they were more like
like 65 and they may have even been less than that at one point in time. But either way, we're talking about an almost $50 difference here between 20 and 70. So I still think the Alter Ego is an amazing deal. I also have a coupon code with them to save 10%. It's Gen 10. I'll leave everything linked down below. All right, so now you've seen the swatches in comparison. Let's go ahead and do a demo and we'll see how these apply to the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the Rose Quartz palette and I'm gonna pick up the shade Cherished, which is this pale pink shade right here. And I'm just gonna dust this all over my lid to kind of set the base. I put down the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And this shade is really pale, so it barely shows up on me, but it just leaves the slightest wash of pale pink. Okay, then I'm gonna clean off my brush on my Sigma Switch and go into the Alter Ego palette. Same shade. In this palette, it's called Jellyfish. So I'm just gonna blend this. By the way, this is the BK Beauty 201 brush. It's one of my favorite brushes for blending large areas. I do have hooded eyes, so I usually prefer smaller brushes, but this one is bigger, so I use it mainly if I'm doing a large area, like the section underneath my brows. All right, so this looks pretty similar, but I do think that the Huda one, it almost like deepens as it sits on my eye, and this one just looks the same as it does in the pan. I don't know if the Huda one is oxidizing or maybe like when it hits the oils in my skin, it just deepens ever so slightly. Next in the Huda palette, I'm gonna pick up the shade Happiness, which is this pink right here. And I'm gonna apply this with the BK Beauty 202 brush. So this one is kind of like the 201, it's just a little bit on the smaller side. So I love using this for my crease. And one of the things I love about Huda's formula is just how easily these shadows blend. I'm not always the best at blending and they're just very seamless and they have a nice glide across your skin. But at the same time, they still grip nicely to your eyes and they don't blend away. Again, I'm gonna clean off the brush on my switch. I just feel like it's important to use the same brush for both sides so that we can get an accurate result, but I don't wanna mix the Huda shadow in with the Alter Ego. So I love the Sigma switch for that. All right, then in the Alter Ego palette, I'm gonna pick up the shade Shell, which is the same shade right here. And I'm just gonna start working this into the crease. Again, I'm kind of noticing that it's a little bit of a lighter shade. The color doesn't look exactly the same as the Huda one. It's maybe a little bit lighter. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this eye all of a sudden looks a little bit darker than it did when I first applied it. I thought when I was first applying it, the color looked more like this one. I don't know, it could just be my imagination, but either way, this shadow is also applying beautifully. As you can see, it's just blending effortlessly. It's so similar to the Huda formula in that I'm having no trouble blending this out and I feel like it's not grabbing to my skin. It's also not so powdery that it's blending away. So it's just the perfect in-between. Then for my outer corner, I'm gonna pick up the shade Empowered, which is this one right here. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's not super metallic and I'm just packing this on with the BK Beauty 209 brush which is a tiny little flat brush and this is my favorite brush for the outer corner. It's great especially if you have hooded eyes because it's so small. All right just wiping the brush off and then I'm going to go into the Alter Ego palette into the shade Abyss right here and I'm just going to pack this one on as well. This one initially I don't feel like it's quite as pigmented at least picking it up with a brush. I kind of feel like I have to go back in and grab a little bit more, but I mean, it's similar. I don't think it's a bad shadow at all. It's showing up really nicely and it's definitely sticking to my eyes. I just felt like I had to go back in and grab a little bit more. So it's just not quite as easy to pick up with a brush, but no issues. I feel like I got them to look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna grab that 202 brush and just kind of blend this a little bit. I just wanna get rid of any harsh edges. Next, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the NYX Glitter Glue to my lids. I use this with every single shimmer shade, whether it's glittery or not, just because I love how much of a sticky base this is. It really helps shimmer shades to grab to your eyelids. It also helps them to last longer and it makes them like pop a little bit more. So I'm just gonna apply this from the inner corner to about midway, right about where this shadow meets. Then I'm gonna pick up this charcoal gray shade, Abundance, right here. And I'm just gonna pack this on with my finger. It's almost like a deep silver, but it has a pinky undertone, which is just so, so beautiful. And I'm just meeting that up with the darker shade that I put on the outer corner. Just gonna do the same thing to this eye. I'm gonna put down the NYX Glitter Glue. And then picking up the shade Siren from the Alter Ego palette. And I'm just gonna apply this also with my finger the same way. 
This is also applying really, really nicely. I almost feel like this one looks a little bit shinier on my lid than the Huda one does. I don't know if, again, that's my imagination, but it might be just slightly more metallic, but that's okay because we are gonna put a topper over this anyway. So next I'm gonna pick up the shade Moon Magic from the Huda palette. And this shade has a little bit of a crumbly texture. It's a little bit more dry. So I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last. And I'm going to just press this right into the center of my lid. This is so gorgeous. It's like a beautiful duochrome. It's kind of blue and it shifts to pink and purple. It's absolutely beautiful and it's such a unique shade. It's one of the shades that I think makes this palette more unique and a little bit harder to dupe. And then over on the Alter Ego side, I'm gonna pick up the shade Sparkle, which is the same kind of topper. And this also has that drier, more crumbly feel. So I'm gonna spray this one with setting spray as well and just stamp that right onto the center of my lid. Okay, so I feel like right away this one is a little bit more subtle than the Huda. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more. There we go. I felt like this one wasn't quite as easy to pick up. So once my finger was a little bit damp, that pretty much solved that issue and I was able to pick up more from the pan. And really once it's on the eyes, I don't feel like there's really much difference between them at all. All right, so what do you guys think? Are you able to tell the difference? Even though some of those Huda shades seem like they darkened up a little bit and some of them were a little more pigmented than the Alter Ego, in the end, I feel like I was able to basically get the exact same look. But we are gonna go ahead and do a wear test today. I think it's really important important to do those when you're comparing products because one may last longer than the other. So I'm really curious to see how this Alter Ego palette is gonna hold up next to the Huda because I do definitely feel like Huda's palettes are long lasting on the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Doll 10 Doll Pro Lash Miracle Lifting Mascara. It's got a really long name, but I used this for the first time in my last video where I was talking about brand conspiracy theories and I just really loved how it made my lash look so I definitely wanted to use it again all right so mascara is on I'm really just loving this look so much other products that I'm wearing today are the Sephora blush in over the moon which is kind of like a Dior rosy glow blush dupe and on my lips I'm wearing the ColourPop so glassy lip gloss and this is in the shade poppy it's a really pretty cool toned pink. So, all right, so I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I'm gonna check in here in about eight hours or so and we'll see how everything is holding up. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been about nine hours or so since I applied the eyeshadow. So I just wanted to do my final check-in. I also just quickly wanted to mention my hoodie because I always get questions about what I'm wearing and this is actually a dupe. It's pretty much an exact copy of a Lululemon sweatshirt that's like $118. This one retails for $50. But I also found a 20% off coupon online, which I used to buy this. So I'll share that down in the comments in case you're interested. It's just a super cute sporty sweatshirt. It's a little bit more on the cropped side. So I would definitely recommend sizing up. I usually wear a medium in tops, but this one I got in a large and it does shrink a little bit because it's 100% cotton. So I just kind of wanted that more oversized fit, but it is a little bit more of a cropped sweatshirt. Like I said, it's a little bit sporty. It has the little uh, thumb holes as well. And I also got it in a pink shade. I did show these on my Instagram stories, which is the video that I'm showing. But yeah, I just wanted to share because I realized I'm not only wearing a dupe on my eyes, but also my hoodie was a dupe. So anyway, let's check out my eyeshadow. So looking in the mirror, I feel like these look pretty much the same. I think both have faded just slightly from when I first applied them. This is the Alter Ego side and this is the Huda side. I don't know, it's so hard to tell, but I just feel like the Huda one might be just slightly deeper and like just a little bit more pigmented. This one might be slightly more faded, but really not that much. So yeah, even if the Alter Ego Coastal Palette isn't quite as pigmented as the Huda Beauty, it's still, like I said before, $50 less expensive and it's not like it's completely faded or anything. It still looks really, really good. So I think you can absolutely get a full day's wear out of this palette. And that's pretty much exactly what I've experienced with their other palettes. So I'm not really too surprised that it held up well, but I should mention that my eyelids are dry. I don't have oily eyelids. So if you do, there's more of a likelihood of your shadows breaking down earlier. I don't always have issues with fading increasing when it comes to eyeshadow. So I just wanted to mention that as well. But overall, 
I can definitely say that the Coastal palette is a very solid dupe for the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty, and I really do not think you'll be disappointed in it. In fact, I was a little bit disappointed when I was swatching my Huda palette because there are those cream shadows in here and the ones that are just a little bit more emollient and they tend to dry out. Spending $70 on a palette only to have a lot of the shades feel dried out like two years later is kind of a bummer, but when you're spending 20 bucks, it isn't as big of a deal. So I think if you love the Rose Quartz color story, you really can't go wrong with this one. So anyway, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I truly appreciate it so much. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. My channel is completely unsponsored and I mostly focus on drugstore and affordable makeup, but I also do talk about high end sometimes as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you'll subscribe. If you have a little bit of extra time and you'd like to check out some more videos, I'll pop up a playlist right here that you could check out next. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.